was thinking and things of that nature. And I'm just like, you know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it comes down to this shit, man. But uh, let me just put some paint where it ain't. You know, last night we was vibing. Matter of fact, I want my queens with me. You know what I'm saying? I want my assistant. I want where Armani go. Bring your ass over here. Okay. Work your shit, nigga. <laughs> you already know. You already know. Lotus, you did your thing last night looking all good from the motherfucking hood. Yeah, we got mine. Yeah, we wait for our money to come. Go ahead. You can bring, I, you can put the chairs up here if y'all want to. So I don't have to stand up. Who is that? You got chairs over here. That's Lotus yeah. girl. Who is that? The whole oh, that's Lotus. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to this nigga. The way he monetizing this he shit right now, bro. It's crazy. Oh, now it's he's a no. Yeah, we gonna be getting the one. Make you smiley. Let's yeah, go. Sir. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah monetizing yeah, you know, this shit. Yeah. What's hey man, you got to man. Everybody else monetize off me. I'm like, man, I'm not asking you, you don't work my jelly, man. And, and you know, I got the truth, and I'm about to show footage that though nobody got because I recorded it with my phone. So uh, you know, it's going down like that. But uh anyway, to make a long story short, you know, uh, and I wasn't gonna put all this shit out there, but it already got leaked. So I might as well put some paint where it ain't because I know where I am. I'm very private about my shit, but this is out there. Nobody would have found out about this shit because it's in Henderson. Nobody was thinking about Henderson. If anybody would have looked me up, they would have looked me up in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? But since it's out there, it's out there now. Um, so look, you know, we all know that uh thank you. Thank you. oh, shout out to uh shout out to uh Diamond. Shout out to Diamond, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. So, man, we all know that uh, you know, boss life, you know, usually the people be like, I'll be trying to insinuate shit, now we're gonna put it all the way out there. You know, boss life got a problem with jealousy, you know what I'm saying? And he got the best of her last night to where she made a choice. That she should never made, you know what I'm saying. However, you know certain things happen for a reason. You know what I'm saying certain things happen. You know certain certain seasons go, and whatever things and people grow apart. You know things happen. You know, so I, I wish her the best on her endeavors. Um, I will lie and say that uh, nah, I'm gonna put that up out there. Just I wish her the best. Or whatever that may look like, you know, we don't we don't say it like that. But so last night, man, we got off good vibes. Trish was here. Shout out to Trish. Everybody was here. You know what I'm saying? Armani was in our room. Everybody just vibing and shit. So now everybody go home. Me and Boss Life end up leaving. We just vibing. You know, we end up leaving, taking a ride, end up coming back to the crib. I'm sitting in my garage and shit. And she's like, man, can I sleep with you tonight? I said, nah, not tonight. You can't sleep with me tonight. She's like, well, I can't I sleep with you. I'm going to sleep with you tonight. I'm like, no, nah, nah, not tonight. Not tonight. So I hopped up and I walked upstairs and uh, before she got out the car, she was about to come inside the house, right? My ass think I'm about to scare her and shit because that's I'm a goofy ass nigga. This is all good vibes. No arguing, no weird shit. Her ass come inside the house, runs upstairs, Goes inside my room and see I'm not in the room. She don't know that I'm downstairs. I'm fucking downstairs behind a little uh, dining table and shit. So she thinking, wait a minute, where is he at? He must be in Armani's room. So her jealousy kicked in. So she like, wait a minute. He said he wasn't gonna sleep with me tonight, but now he gonna come straight upstairs. He's not in his room. And I know he ain't in Lotus's room, so he must be chilling with Armani. And she's already drunk and intoxicated. So she come back downstairs looking for me. And right when I'm about to jump out, jump out, I'm like, okay, she go right back downstairs. I'm thinking she's about to go into the front room and look for me. She goes back downstairs into the basement because that's how you go into the garage. So I was like, okay, well, when she come back out of the garage. No that's more Thanksgiving. On. No, no Thanksgiving gifts, y'all. It's fucking them up. Y'all send another gift. Yeah. Yeah, we got 6K people over here. Let's not fuck it up. So because I already know people recording shit like that. So anyway, I'm waiting for her to come back in the house and shit. I hear, hmm. I said, okay, I know what she's doing. I know what she's doing. She's starting up the car to make me jump out, but she ain't about to go nowhere. She, oh. she, she ain't about to go nowhere. I'm waiting for her. Then I hear, because I got 24s on my shit. So it rubs if you don't know how to drive and to pull out the right motherfucking way. This no motherfucking problem. helper is leaving in my motherfucking Bentley. I'm like, wait a minute. And her phone is off at the time. 
She didn't pay the fucking four hundred dollar. Uh, I think it's like three hundred, four hundred dollar bill. So her phone was off at the time. So she, I, I don't know if she brought it or whatever the fuck she had going on. So she didn't have her phone up on her, so I couldn't call her. So at this point, Armani, Armani comes down the steps to go to Lotus's room. Well, she goes across the hall to Lotus's room and says, uh, trying to talk to Lotus, but Lotus is asleep at this time. And then I jump up, I say, hey, I'm here. She's like, wait a minute, how are you here? Because in the back of my window, I, I see your Bentley right here and it's swerving in the middle of the street. I said, I said, that's boss life. She said, so what are you going to do about that? You know, and me, the way I'm thinking about it is like, I'm going to give her a chopping. I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to give her a chopping. Like, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to chop her ass up verbally. What the fuck is wrong with you? But then I was like, you know what? She's drunk. So even if I, even if I chop her up verbally, it's not going to be nothing. It's not going to be nothing. She's not even going to be incoherent. She's out here drunk. And she's driving my fucking Bentley. It's it's two things I don't play about. Somebody come up fucking with my property and fucking with our money. These are two things I don't play with. Like, like you can do anything. Don't take my belongings. Don't take my car, especially up under the influence. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never drove my, my Bentley a day in your motherfucking life. And you're going to take my Bentley while you ain't intoxicated. So while I'm worrying about my motherfucking Bentley, you know, baby letting me know at the same time, like, you only thinking about your Bentley. She's intoxicated. She can kill somebody. She can get in a wreck and take somebody's life because she's drunk. She's not even aware of what the fuck she's doing right now. She's driving around in your shit. So what I decided to do is I decided to get my car back. So I called, and y'all will hear that voicemail. I called to get my car back um, because the shit has been gone, and I don't play that shit. So I called. I reported to get my car back. Because at the end of the day, it probably would have put me in a fucked up position. Because I can't, if I would have chopped her verbally, that could have turned into something bad. Because I'm heated at that time. So to protect myself, I don't give a fuck about protecting the code. There ain't no fucking code. Ain't nobody from the streets. She ain't no gangster. This ain't no hood gangster shit. I need to protect myself. So I made a report for my car. So it wouldn't be nothing else that could transpire from this shit. All those folks, I said, hey. Can you please, please find my car? And can we get my car back? So those folks put up at my house. I did a report and I got I got all of this shit recorded. They pulled up in my crib and then guess what? Guess who you hear coming around the corner? It's boss life. So in the middle of the police, in the middle of the police interviewing me right now, this girl coming around like, nigga, I'm big Billy spinning. I'm big all over, all over jealousy. <sighs> they hear up and stopped out. They hear up and stopped talking to me. They rushed over. They rushed because she seen the police. She tried to keep going. She said, now, nah, fuck this. I'm about to try to try to book it. Because she was about to turn right on the street. She tried to book it. It was already too late. Boom. Police got on her ass, pulled behind her. And then they started interrogating her. Like, what, you know, boom, 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 boom. So all that shit that happened. She ended up getting locked up for a DUI for dropping up under an influence. And this is when it gets tricky. Do you know what this effort is? Because she's so fucking vindictive. The helpful with no evidence of nothing. That that talking loose lips in her motherfucking feelings because of what she did and what she created. She had the nerve to say that we got into it. Not, not, not the nerve to say I beat her up. Not the nerve to say anything that I know of, because the police never said it to me. They said the domestic. I could have even got her fucking ass out. She don't even know. I would have bailed her motherfucking ass out. But her dumb ass thinking that she's getting her lick back up on me. It's all good. She ended up saying that we got into it. So when I'm sleeping in the morning, they knocking at my door because of some shit that she said that she won't even be able to fucking remember by in the morning. Because they said they still got to investigate that type of shit because they take domestic violence serious in the bottle. They take it seriously. It's almost like a fucking shooting. So I'm like, wait, wait, how can you put me in jail without probable cause? Because everybody was here. Everybody seen that it wasn't nothing. They interviewed everybody. Everybody knew it wasn't nothing. But at the end of the day, they said, well, she said this. You can come out here. They probably throw it out. You have to pay. I said, well, I'm going to have to pay bail. You still got to pay bail, but they can throw it out. 
You know what I'm saying? If it's not nothing, they can throw it out. So I ended up getting locked up. I had to do have a 12 hour hold. And that's how she got locked up. And then in the morning they came to my door to lock my black ass up. So now what I'm about to do is run some footage for y'all. Mm. Let's get this shit going. Mm. And then I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna I'll give y'all questions. Anything that y'all want to hear, because y'all know I'm gonna come with receipts. I'm gonna just be talking this shit. Mm. Um, we are about to unbox. Sure. Okay. You think she gonna be that man? Do you think she gonna? No, I ain't supposed to be asking. You think she finna try to take this shit further? Like I, I ain't. You think she finna try to do some more weird shit, bro? I, I'm gonna chop it up with you in a minute about it. All right. So look, I'm I'm, I'm recording so that people can. Uh, can y'all see it? Yes. Um, could y'all see it? Cause I couldn't see it. Yes, we on so, the team. So when I, so it's so it covers up our whole screen. I ain't gonna be able to see y'all. Is that how it's supposed to be? Correct. Look. You can't see us unless oh. you get your other phone. All right, bet, bet, bet. She took it, so I'm just letting you know. So you know weird stuff. So is it like if this happened, like if if she wrecks my car and things, this isn't like if since I got insurance, it's okay, right? I'm okay. Is it okay, like on you? Yeah, it's okay on me. It, it would still fall underneath your insurance because it's it's your vehicle. Okay. Um, that's up to the insurance companies. Insurance companies they determine their own things. They do their own investigations. We only do so much. That's if she was arrested. If, if she wrecked it, she would just get arrested for DUI. If we conduct certain tests to determine that she was the enemy. Have anybody give you a call? Nobody's given us a call yet. I didn't see the car when I pulled in from that side. Oh, you put it in from that side. Yeah, I, I pulled it from this side. You said that she went that way. Yeah, she went that way. I know a little bit further out, that way is also Vegas. So she yeah. might be in Vegas because. We kind of, oh, it borders like right, yeah. like scroll right here. So, oh my god, and if she um, went that way, she might. Huh? Okay, so it, since he's reporting it, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna like he's good because he's reporting it. So, whatever happens, it definitely helps for sure. Uh, yeah, it definitely helps. Okay, did she just like grab the keys and just leave? Yeah, the keys was in the car. Yeah, I leave the car. Now, she didn't tell me nothing. She ain't never, she can't even drive. Okay. I, I wouldn't even give her permission. Right. Like, that's the fact. Yeah. Right. So yeah, at that point, there's only so much you can do. I mean, if she's gonna do what she's gonna do, that's that's on her. It, it the whole fault would be on her then. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your birthday? I think I have. Your uh, all right. So 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 that's the first part. Now here's the part when she when the police catch her. Let's go. Y'all thought we was gonna stop right there? Fuck no. Nah, let's go. <laughs> nigga got the key. Key. Why they took my car? I got y'all. <laughs> She took my car and ran off with that shit drunk. Why the, hell, why, the, why the hell did you take the car? I just wanted to go get some food, but you're all done. I'm saying, why the hell did you take the car? You're fine. No, don't I worry about it. I sat there. I was behind the table and I'm watching the downstairs. Antonio. Why didn't you come get me then? I, didn't have I was to walk looking to, for you. I wanted you your room separate and everything. Yourselves now, you can Antonio. arrest me right now. But I promise after I arrest you, arrest me and going home to Boston, I did what I had to do for you. So fuck you with your belly. That's from Miko. Let's bring it back. Fuck you with your belly from Miko. It's psycho. Why the hell? Why the, why the hell did you take the car? I just wanted to go get some food, but you're all done. I'm saying, why the hell did you take the car? Though? You're fine. No, don't worry. I sat there. I was behind the table and I watched you downstairs. Antonio. Why didn't you come get me then? I, didn't have to I was looking it. for you. I wanted why did you your take the separate separate you separate yourselves. You can arrest me right now. But I promise, after I arrest you, arrest me. I'm going home to Boston. I did what I had to do for you. So fuck me with your belly. That's from Vico. So as y'all can see, it wasn't that she called the police because we was fighting. It wasn't that she called the police because we was fighting and some shit happened. No, that didn't happen. So for all those rumors, that does not dispel that, okay? You know, and the only reason why I got locked up because she was in her feelings and being drunk 
And she said what the fuck she said later on that day. And that's how I got locked up. All right? So at the end of that, that's what's going on. Anybody want to talk? Whoever want to be the first? Let's go. Bro, it sound like it sound like she finna try to escalate that to something else from her words. I ain't gonna lie. It sound like she try to do some some weird shit because that was already weird than the motherfucker. The whole thing is weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole thing is weird. Nah, her comments in front of that lawman weird. What I just heard that bitch say sound. She ain't done, bro. Right, right, Can I right, right. So, okay, she tell you that she was going to get food because she said all she was doing was going to get food. No, she didn't tell me that. No, she didn't tell me. Even she would. She can't tell me. She can't tell me what the fuck she doing in the first place. But not. Nah, she didn't do nothing. What she did was we both pulled up to the house. We was just not with each other. We just both pulled up to the house after riding around Vegas with each other, having a good little conversation, chopping it up, and me me talking to her about you know her jealousy, letting her know that hey man, you know everybody just cool man. I want to date with. She want to date with you know everything cool. You know it's on some okay. cool little player vibes type of shit. So we didn't, we didn't really she jealous you know, of. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. Uh, you okay. watching that shit last night? I was nah, watching, but you know, I already, I'm already uh, assessed the team. Everything looked at perfectly fine last night, bro. Y'all was chilling. Yeah, we yeah, were just we are, chilling. We were just having fun. And shout out to Twist. Look, oh, yeah, let me oh, let me dispel this rumor, too. I told y'all I was going to give y'all everything. No other person got locked up. I don't know who Alyssa is. They ain't got nothing to do with us. Trish went back home because that's what she was supposed to do. She was already about to leave. So Tris went back home. No, this is right here. And you know, Armani right here. I don't know who the fuck Alyssa is. I don't know who the fuck that is. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But she got jealous because I told her she, that she couldn't sleep with me. That was the last straw. She couldn't sleep with me, and she thought I was sleeping with Armani. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so when she came in the house, she was looking for me in my like room. Like sex or sleep? No, sleep in the bed with me. She just wanted to sleep, sleep in the bed with me. Um, and I told her no. You know, but she didn't know I was downstairs about to hop out on her just to scare her motherfucking ass. But she be moving, her little legs be moving so fucking quick. I said, well, I'm gonna wait till she come back downstairs. She come back downstairs to go straight to the motherfucking garage. And I'm thinking she's gonna come back up and she end up taking off in the building. So that's how that even happened. Mm -hmm. Something small escalated into something really fucking big. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, you feel me? But to make a long time, story short. You know what time she finna be on, huh? You said what? You do understand what type of time she finna be on right now, huh? Whatever type of time it is, you know, it, it's, it's nothing that can get me in trouble because I don't move. That's why I'm glad that I move a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that I move a certain type of way and I don't engage in, in, in bullshit or in criminal activities, you know, because I've been through a lot in my life. I know how to move. I know how to sidestep bullshit. And that's why I'm not in there on no other charges. I'm not in there on no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm in there on I'm in there on that, that little misdemeanor that she said that's gonna eventually probably get dropped like that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I just feel like even when that little video of the short short clip of me walking up on her, if there was a problem in that moment, she would have said it like, oh, I got I was trying to get away or something. She would have said that, or we got into a fight, so I just had to get it. But it was none of that. She said, Oh, I just went to go get her some food. But then I when I let her know, I'm like, but look, I seen you. I was behind the table about to scare you. She said, well, then why didn't you get me? I don't need to come and get you. Just because I don't come and get you don't mean it's going to steal my car. What the fuck is wrong with you, girl? Who, mm -hmm. who told you in your head? What little thought can even conceive to make you even think that was okay? Bitch, you playing with okay, the wrong so one. When it comes to like going places and stuff like that, is that not normal for y'all to like share vehicles? And, like, was that her first time nah, driving? No, no. Yeah. Not with her. Oh. Not with not with her. She ain't driving none of my shit. She don't mm -hmm. even know how to she don't even know how to drive. She don't even know how to drive fucking sober. Less long. She was she could barely walk last night. This you better be back in your motherfucking car, nigga. Praise God. Nigga, this wasn't no this wasn't no little Toyota or Nissan Maxima. And I still probably would have tripped with that. She almost went into somebody's yard. Drove into somebody's yard. She could she could barely walk. If you think she's about to take the Bentley on the spin, you got me fucked up. Who gonna pay for that, me? So why, when you was downstairs and she was walking in the garage, why you didn't intervene? Why you didn't just? Because I'm thinking she's gonna come back up. I'm not thinking she's gonna roll up. She ain't never took my car. She ain't never put no move like this. 
No, I'm saying, right. don't your car have like a loud? It sound loud a room when it starts. That's what I said. When you heard, no, no you talk about the, you talk, you talk about the Aston, but I still heard the Bentley. That's what I said I, when I heard that key in ignition. I said, hey, you know what? She's doing that to pump fake me. She's doing that so I can jump oh, out. You she was playing. You ain't I thought she was pump me. faking me. You know, nah. She went, mm -hmm. nigga. She took that shit. You talk about a joy ride. That's the. That's he was exactly gone. What that did, did she do any damages? Like, is the car scratched up? Did she fuck the, the rims up? No, she didn't do nothing. No, she didn't do nothing. Thank God. Yeah, fuck. thank God. You know, you know, do you think she gonna press the issue like in court and press stuff and say, like you beating her, say you I beating mean, her and stuff? Wait, I'm I'm gonna, she had to say something weird like that. I wouldn't have been locked up. I, I gotta look at the discovery, but it's, it's gonna be thrown out. She said this shit up under the influence. She probably won't even under, don't even remember her, her fucking lie. So I'm not, I'm not worried about that because I have Witnesses here, and we all know what's going on. And she ain't got no bruises, and I ain't got no bruises. Like, we didn't have no, every, everybody seen the live last night. Nobody was fighting with each other. She just mad in her feelings. We don't give a fuck. Okay, everybody is got your feelings. car currently impounded? Mm -mm, it's not here. Okay. You know, you have everything all right. You know, the only thing that was weird was them putting me in jail behind the bullshit. I would have fucking got her ass out of fucking jail. Even with her doing that fucked up shit last night, her being my, even with me knowing I'm not fucking with her no more, I was gonna fucking bail her ass out. But now nah, she got me locked up over some bullshit. Got me fucked up. Oh, mm. oh man. So now, nah, so now nah, she finna, now nah, she finna. Yeah. It's, she got a vengeance. She got a lot of, she got a lot of evil doing to do right now, bro. She yeah, yeah just be being vindictive, man. Just being vindictive. But then it gets good. So I'm, I'm, I'm up in there, right? This, it gets good. Y'all thought it was over? Did thought yeah, it was over? yeah. No, it's not over. It, mm -mm. it ain't over yet. So I walk up in there. First person I see is boss life. <laughs> she looking at me, trying to get my attention, looking all sad. I ain't got nothing to say. You, you. I ain't got nothing to say. You play with me. You play with my freedom. That's one thing I do not play with. Okay. You play with my so freedom let, over I'm going to go to K9. Oh, shit. All right. Let me get I'm gonna something. Get, I'm going to I'm gonna get to that next. Okay. Yay. Thank you. All right. So let's get some understanding and some clarity about the whole situation because I don't know if I misheard you. You said um y'all came home together and then y'all came home separately, or were you? I never said we came home together. What you talking about? I ain't never said we came home together. Okay. So y'all were just riding around the whole town together. Oh, you talking? Oh, you talking oh, talk about before? That's before everything happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's before. Okay. So that's before everything so happened. My, all right. So look. So let me let me let me break it down one time. Let me break it down real quick so it won't be no misunderstanding. Um, last night when we got off live, because first I got blocked, I got banned for 30 days. Then she got banned. I don't know how long she got banned, but she got banned. So me and Boss Life ended up leaving the house together. Trish ended up leaving because she had to get go catch her flight. Lotus went upstairs. Yeah, she got knocked out. Armani was already fucking asleep upstairs. So me and Boss Life was going to hang out. So we, we took a ride through Vegas and came back home. So everything was cool between us. You know what I'm saying? But when I told her that I wasn't gonna sleep with her, and she came upstairs thinking like, wait a minute, you ain't gonna sleep with me, but you're gonna sleep with Armani? That's what created the issue. And she was like, she took okay. the car up under the influence. We got this. So even even outside of our money, because we already we already knew there was some underlying issues with our money and things of that nature. So, mm -hmm. you know, even with Trish yeah. even coming over, it was some some the like some yeah. dispute with her. And Trish, she got into it with Trish. At least is what the girls was telling me earlier today. It was a lot of disrespect going on. Everybody was calling each other bitches and hoes and hunt. Even her and Trish got into it. So, do you feel like that was just an excuse that her money thing, or was all night she was she was feeling you know neglected and disrespected and and no she wasn't feeling neglected. No, no, she, she wasn't feeling neglected. neglected. She wasn't feeling neglected. Uh, what she likes to do is she likes to insert herself and be the boss bitch of everything of every fucking moment. Nobody can't have a moment without boss life. That's her goddamn problem. She want me to. She didn't tell Lotus. Now we now we can start waking it up. She pulled Lotus to the side. Was this about what? When was this about a week ago? Yeah. She pulled Lotus to the side saying, "I want him to myself. I, I'm the new career." I'm the she new career. That I'm the baby career. And I want everybody out the house and I want to settle down with him and I want to be married no, and have the baby. Did not say that. No, she didn't. No, that, she didn't. That sounds believable. Yeah. No, no, she definitely told me that. She did. Sounds very believable. Those are Zach words. Straight face. Yeah, it, 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 
But not a fact you talk. What, but what you did have these it, indications, TKO, and you yeah. knew not to even accept her back, and you did. Hold on, I'm hold on, hold on, walk, walk, hold on, walk, walk. We're gonna get I'm to I'm sorry, that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, we were just I'm, having a conversation. I'm, uh, me and Boss Life was, um, you know, talking and walking, we were just kind of getting to know each other or whatnot, and she was opening up to me, and she, <laughs> I, you know, we were just having a real conversation. Cause I wanted to know where her head was. And she was just like, I said, so what do you expect? Like, what do you think is going to happen? Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? She's like, well, I just wish it was just me and him. And um, she's like, I'm, I'm actually like Korea. I'm actually just like Korea. Oh and he likes that. <laughs> he likes that. Well, first oh, of all, man. first of all, you, first of all, you're not Korea at that. Oh. And what me and Korea had was something totally different. And then we had years invested into this type of shit. And Korea didn't start off like that. You right. see what I'm saying? Korea started off poly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what see, see that's what people get it fucked up at. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we offer that. You know, maybe she can go get married and be with somebody solo because that was never gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Well, do, you feel, but, uh, feel, do you feel her coming back from the beginning the first time was Avengers move the whole time? Do you feel like she uh, Vengeance move in, in what regard? I mean, emotional, the, the from a from an emotional standpoint, for something to prove. I was gonna get there. I think so. I think more so. I think she just loved the attention that I have, and she loved getting my attention, and she's like position. I, I think that uh, you know, she like cop. It's like she like she like to be that bitch. So if, if all the girls want me. If all the girls want me, she want to she want to show everybody that she can be that bitch in my life and, and she'd be number one. That's just her. She just wanted okay. to be the face. But she was never gonna be number one. The, problem. the whole time I've been saying this whole time, even with talking ill will towards our money, you know what I'm saying? Even with dogging her out and our money didn't do anything to deserve that type of you know energy from her. I feel like that was a right. red flag right then and That's there. That's because like she that had always been jealous and yeah. tried to take her spot. That was the whole motive was her to take the spot from Jump Street any fucking way. But she wasn't going to yeah. win that war. That's a war that she yeah. would have, even if she Duh. could take on that. Oh, like, yeah, you yeah, lost but that look, up. Look, but one thing, no, but, and, and the reason why, and this is why I'm going to get to Wong Wong. I know you said, I've been knowing that you're right. I've been knowing oh. Her, oh. her moves. I've been knowing certain motives about her. But my whole thing was, I wanted to show her and I wanted to show the people that I'm going to try, even though she did the biggest thing that you can ever do. Mm -hmm. And nobody ever went out this household, not even yet, or disrespected me and Armani right. like this. But I didn't give up on her. I didn't give up on her. Now she forced my hand because she brought them laws. She, she got me locked up. So, but and that was my fault. Everybody said I should have did that. Yes. Because when, when she said 12 the last time, she wasn't to be played with because she's. It, she got that energy. The energy was there. Yeah. And when yeah, I see yeah, you, so. pretty, that's not my business. I said, I've been said what I said, and I've he never liked to ask her that. Asked her back. Everybody mm -hmm. said, yeah. He asked everybody. And everybody didn't say yes. He went against what his woman said. That woman that been behind him from no, from, no, from no, him. no, 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 no. Armani, Armani didn't say. Armani didn't say no. Armani, we all had discussions. We all be we all have discussions Mine about with, shit. with you with, and that's how that works. Yeah. So you know. yeah, like he said, so if he said it's cool, she wasn't tripping. Like, yeah, she ain't she ain't yeah, going against yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't go against the household, but at the same time, it wasn't gonna work anyway because it was just little things like when it came down to like us going to the gym, she's like, Why you she, it's things that are mine about to hear for the first time. She'd be like, Why do you want us to go to the gym together in the same car? You know, I don't like that. Red you know, flag. I I would have to like check her real quick, like, like, cause I, I've never experienced that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I don't have to get because the house of body can't stand. That's my favorite scripture, like a house, and that's why it wasn't gonna work. It probably wasn't gonna work. But at the same time, I'm a person who don't throw people out, and it needed something like this to happen. Cause I wouldn't go ever just be like, you made me mad today, boss. Like, get the fuck out. I wouldn't go right. ever do that. And if anybody know me, they know that's my track record. So it needed something like this to happen, and I feel like this was warning before destruction. Now mm -hmm. I'm stupid. To allow her to come back because this is the warning. It can get real bad. Oh my God, mm -hmm. this right here was like the. You, you know, talking about the next time? You talking about you the talking next, about if, if it was gonna be a next time? Uh, uh, this right here, like, stop playing. 
This was it. The icing and the um everything. You definitely get revenge on everybody at this point. She went, like she went out like that because she she went out like that because her mind knew it was over. You know what I'm saying? She knew what time yes. it was. Hold on, let me let me play this one more time real quick for y'all. I know some new people up there. New people. 